Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to get started here with a theme for the reading brought to you by the Sacred Destiny Oracle card deck. You have the card of protection. So perhaps you have a an energy vampire around you. I don't know if you've seen the new Netflix special from Joe Coy, the comedian. He started talking about energy vampires like it was this hidden concept. It was really funny, like like no one had ever heard of it. It's like, yeah, that's, people have been talking about that for 10 years. But either way, I do feel like they're saying if you have any concerns, anything that's weighing on you, you're here, you're protected, you're in good hands. Let's consult the tarot and see what else you need to know. All right. What else does Aries need to know, please? What advice do you have for Aries, please? Messages for Aries, please. All right, here we will have a general reading today. You have the Six of Wands, the Sun, very happy energy, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Swords. We've got the Nine of Cups. I don't know why the cards are just flinging out like this. The Page of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Wands here. Well, I do feel like you may see someone's true colors coming out, but I do feel like other people are going to see it too. And I'll tell you what, if I pause just a minute when I pulled that out, I thought, should I have said the Joe Coy thing? I had a video demonetized about a week ago, which means I made a dollar on the video. And it was uh, honestly over nothing. I won't get into it, but I am thinking about making a short video for creators so they understand and pinning that video so people can see it. It was Aquarius the week of June 9th, okay, if you're interested in reading it, but boy, so it kind of gave me pause. I was like, ooh, is that controversial? But either way, if it is, it's too late now. Okay, so I, I mentioned some of these true colors are going to come out, but I'll tell you what, you're finishing here in a place where it won't matter to you with all of this, okay? You have such a beautiful reading. It's half of the reading is right here in my hand. I wish I could pull in more cards. I also want to tell you with the page of wands and page of cups here, get ready to laugh. Get ready to have fun. If you say, boy, do I need that, it's headed your way. You have an illumination coming, but I'm, I just feel like with that wheel and the sun together, they are the perfect partnership. It's, it's synergy. It's finding people who get you, who have fun with you, who understand you. You know, we don't need other people to take our own inventory. We're oftentimes hard enough on ourselves. And quite frankly, the people who like to do that are, are many times they're projecting. It's like, look, that call is coming from inside the house. Okay, that's you. All right, you know what I mean by that? And so I feel like you're going to be in a place of ease. And I do feel like if there's somebody around you, it feels just sort of like this pesky energy that it tried to negate something you were doing or just as kind of a, like I said, their true colors come out here. And especially too, if it's somebody you work with, I feel like you're, it's going to be, it's like what I see is somebody brushing their sleeve off. Like if something pesky landed on your sleeve and you just quickly brush it off, that's what I feel like it is. Brushing off what does not serve you and moving forward in this. Now, if it's a relationship, that person for you is going to be like no other. It is somebody who is truly hysterical with you. It, you're, the two of you together, and it's like I feel like you're going to have a lot of private jokes, things that you just get where there's even no spoken words. Do you know what I mean by that? You've had like some other experience together. You have a similar experience. You look at each other and just start cracking up. I mean, it's that kind of energy where it's so robust. I also feel like the two of you in a relationship could even have a business together. Okay, something like that where it is hardcore. I mean, it really is a match that will continue to grow, give, and evolve. And so with the Six of Wands, get ready to be flying high. And I also feel like, too, you might get a little bit of vindication. You have protection, yes, but there's something about whatever is revealed around you that kind of puts you here, where you say, I'm just so glad I didn't participate in that. I'm glad I didn't bend down to be in their energetic field. I saw it coming and I got away, or I removed myself is how I get it. So if it's a job, too, and you're moving on to a new job because there just was not growth there, or a, a area where you're living too, because you do have moving and travel. Whatever's not growing with you, I see you as getting into the right path to continue your own personal growth. And I heard enhancement. 
something about enhancement, okay? So either way, things are going to feel easy. They're going to feel like a time where it just people around you just seem to work well together. And you find too, any social experiences, people seem to click there too. You know, there's nothing worse. You go out to have a good time and there's somebody in the mix that it's like one of these things doesn't belong here. One of these things just isn't the same. Remember that song? I think it's from Sesame Street. Anyway, with this, I do feel like it's exactly that. Or it could be from, was it called Electric Avenue? Is that the other show that was popular? But anyway, with this sun energy, you had, I mentioned you have an illumination here. You have big gains coming in here. Nothing stays hidden in the energy of the sun, but it's one of the happiest cards available to you. And so it really is a time when you're looking for the positives, you're looking for the good. And for, perhaps too, this will be a time when you look around you and say, what are the, who are the five people I spend the most time with? What are their lives like? What's their energy like? What's their attitude like? Because subconsciously you become like them as you spend time with those core people. So I feel like your core group is going to be gold. And if it is too, if you do change jobs or move, people who receive you are going to be in love with you immediately. I don't mean that in a romantic sense. I mean in a sense of, or if you do some kind of freelance work, they're going to want you for more. If you have sort of a menagerie of jobs going on here, somebody wants to see you come aboard. I also keep seeing somebody in photography. If you're doing something as a side hustle with photography, your book is going to be quite full. Okay, there's no lack here. There's no, there's nothing here that says you won't have what you need. So you keep on grinding. You keep on going forward, Aries. As I always tell you, you go where other signs can't. You have an entrepreneurial spirit by nature. And it doesn't matter if you're not in business. I'm a fully licensed clinician. And I found I've got a bit of a facility for business. I had no idea I had. I have no training in it. But either way, some of it, I think, and I'm an Aries son, is our fortitude. You know, it's having a little bit of guts, but it's also, too, having some organization, being willing to follow through on things that's going to serve you well. So with this Wheel of Fortune, get ready for unexpected gifts coming into your life. The wheel works for you, okay? This is never a wheel of confusion and dismay. It's fortune. It's good fortune. Fortune means just that, right? And so with this, know that new people that are ushered into your life are going to be clicking with you instantly. You're just going to feel like this is the time in your life that you'll look back on and say, boy, that was sure a good chapter for me. So with this Wheel of Fortune energy, this high vibrational shift will happen. And so meditate, quiet the mind, keep yourself inside, even as things get exciting and adventurous on the outside, try to keep yourself steady and stable on the inside because that will help. Now, this is also answers to questions coming in. So I do feel like if there's some something around you or even a person who's a bit blocked up, there's going to be some kind of a shift even for them because the answers come in with this. So this Two of Swords is not exactly everyone's favorite card to see, is it? Twos are about partnerships. And so, like I said, there may be somebody who's not willing to change, but this is heavy stuff. It's not an easy energy to live with. And somebody, I feel like your way of sort of letting go of them is identifying that and saying, you know, they don't have the easiest of lives. I can have compassion for them as another human being, but that also doesn't mean I have to be right next to them because these swords are heavy lifting and they're, they can't even get up sitting like this. Could you imagine if you're holding swords, big metal swords, as big as you are in that position, trying to even stand, it'd be impossible. So there's something about their mindset, their inability to see what's available to them. And it may be because of this, especially if they're intentionally trying to hide stuff, that is a vicious cycle to be caught up in. So I do feel like with this Nine of Cups, happy, joyous, free energy is yours. And the Nine of Cups has you sitting pretty. These are the two lottery tickets of the tarot. So I don't ever encourage gambling or anything like that. But if you do play games of chance or you have an opportunity where perhaps you throw your business card into the proverbial fish, fish bowl for a drawing, your name will be called. That sort of thing where you say, boy, I've gotten some lucky breaks here. It's this energy where you're sitting back and saying, look at all these cups. Isn't this great? I can't believe what a cycle I've had. What a turn this has been, but enjoy every single minute of it. 
Now I mentioned before, whoever you're drawing in, I do feel like they have a perfect combination of being a go-getter, but knowing how to have fun. And you won't have to explain your sense of humor to them. You will not have to water yourself down for them. They want you just as you are. They've got a nice little romantic energy too. This page of cups is somebody who comes in and they have a romantic side. They bring gifts. They bring a lightness wherever they go. And I told you they're the perfect energy with the page of wands. Did I mention here we have Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo is here. We've got air, water, fire as well. But these two are the perfect partners, partners in crime for sure. And so the Seven of Swords with the right handling, which to me the cards are saying it's just more about removing yourself from this than anything else. But with the way that you handle this, you're going to find it does nothing to you. So I do feel like people, you know, you let whirling dervishes whirl. Let them do it because you know what? They'll do it to somebody else if you don't participate in the nonsense. And so with the page of wands here, it's I feel like you, honestly. And I know he's a page and sometimes they get a bad rap, but they worked for the royal family. They were an integral part of the royal family. So or integral, however you want to say that. Um, part of the royal family's operations. And so this page of wands is exhilarating energy and you're going to love it. This is the kind of energy where you wake up and feel like you're almost invincible. He just looks like a little figure, but he's like almost 10 feet tall and bulletproof as a mindset. Like he can just take on the world. So you do just that. You go out there and take on that world. We need somebody to do it. All right, let's see what else the angels want to tell you. Okay, what else does Aries need to know, please? Messages, please, for Aries. Trust. Trust the universe feels and hears your energy and works with you, your co-creative energies together. Ask your angels. They'll deliver the message in the way that you can hear it. No need to worry. I agree. You're being divinely guided and protected here within the next few weeks. So next little chunk of time here is going to be a lot of fun. Choose a new direction. So be light, be easy, know you're loved. I love you too, Aries. And I'll be back again soon.